Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I have um, some pack recaps for you guys, as well as um, two mail days to recap. So, the first mail day I got was actually when I forgot to do in my last video. Uh, I got it last week, but I just forgot when, um, to show it before I opened the packages or after. But it is this um, Authentic Fabrics patch of patch of um, Jeff Carter. Oops, let me get a focus there. There we go, Jeff Carter. It is a um, two-color patch, black and white, number 35 of 35, and it's from 1112 SP or sorry, XP Game Used. Got this off eBay for a very reasonable price. Um, the funny thing is that it took um, it took two months for it to, to for it to arrive. The um, seller actually refunded me the price of the card, which wasn't that much, so but it was appreciated. But I have the envelope it was shipped in, shipped in a PWE, but I think it arrived fine. But as you can see there, it was shipped on May 3rd, 2013, and I got it on July 3rd, coincidentally. So it's um, exactly two months after it was shipped. I've never really had that happen before, but kind of funny. Um, I'm happy they got the card at least, so that's always good. Um, the next thing I have is I'll do the packet cap. So... On Sunday, I went to the uh, a Blue Jays game in Toronto, and be before I get the pack of caps, there was actually a uh, bobblehead giveaway, so it was GP here in Sebia. So I actually have four of these, um, there's four people in my family, my um, my brother, myself, and my two, my mom and dad, so I got four of these, we were the first 20,000 people to get in, so I got one of these, GP here in Sebia, uh, GP here in Sebia bobbleheads, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. I've gone. I go to the Blue Jays game every summer, and um, I've actually missed the last few giveaways. So it was always nice to get um, a bobblehead finally. Um, they won eleven five, and we actually had really good seats. Uh, it was left field, third row. So um, yeah, it was good. And after the game, we went to uh, from hockey to Hollywood in Toronto. I usually go there all the time. I got some supplies, so it was just like some card stands that I have. I don't have them with me right now, but I got those which I needed. As well as I got these three packs. I'm not gonna lie, I did pretty bad on all of them, but I don't know why I always tried them. This is, so I got um twelve thirteen rookie anthology, eleven twelve series one, and twelve thirteen series one. So this is a hobby retail and obviously hobby. This is from a fresh box as well. I asked the guy and he said he would open it up for me, so I was I got to pick the first pack of the box, and here's what I got. So the eleven twelve series one was all base. The twelve thirteen series one yielded me a Riley Shahan Young Guns, which is not bad. At least I got something. And the anthology I got a um, uh, Andrew Jodry rookie card, elite rookie card number to nine ninety nine seven seventy eight. So that kind of sucked, but um, I, I guess I had to learn eventually that I probably shouldn't be buying packs as they're, the odds are pretty bad and I always seem to come out um, with less than I, sh I think I should have, but that's that. Um, um, yeah, that's it for the car the pack recaps, and today I got a one package mail day off from eBay. It is this patch of honor of Keith Prim Primo. For the rip rings, it's from Mo Motown Madness, and um, so this is the patch. It's it says as you can see, it says two thousand seven. Now, if you look on the back, it it um it says that it's a um a piece of replica Steve Yzerman retirement night patch. So when they retired his um number, his yeah his number two thousand seven. I don't know if he if this like he um Keith Primo wore the a jersey out there with a the patch that would say like. The night that was, which is somewhere in 2007, or I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of confused if it says a replica, like it was, um, he didn't actually wear it, but I don't know why they would be have his name on it then, so, I don't know, I'm conf kind of confused where this, on where this patch is from. I got it for really cheap, so I didn't really mind it, and it's always good trade bait. I've, I've been looking at buying one of those cards for a while now, but I want, wanted to make sure it was someone who I actually knew. And Keith Primu is someone I actually knew. Uh, I, I remember him more for the Flyers than I do with the Red Wings, but 
that's really beside the point. But other than that, guys, that is it. If you're interested in anything, please let me know, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, guys, bye.